Hi guys, it's Cranky as Fuzzy returning with another edition of I Play Your Way. This save comes from the nomination of Danny Merrington, who nominated Lut uh, Luton. I've done an opening video where I showed you the signings that I've made, um, done a couple of tactical videos, um, guides, etc., which basically just shows you how I attack from the front or attack from the back. Um, we played pre-season and as you can see on the board they're pretty strong. I'm very very happy about the start to our season. I'll also quickly run through the first game of the season um, and show you the goals only when it loads up. So how have you all been? I hope you have a, had a lovely weekend. I watched the boxing last night but to be honest with you I'm a bit, a bit of a Chris Eubanks faithful to begin with I I was a firm believer um, and for him to get absolutely pummeled last night I was quite disappointed personally I think he was too small to be fighting George Groves but I didn't know that until they were in the ring together so it just goes to show but in this game as you can see Yeovil played a basic 5-4-1 they didn't really want to attack me if I'm quite honest we just battered them, absolutely battered them. And I did play with the team. Oh, that was a beautiful goal from Downs. The low knee from Ipswich, absolutely stunning there. So we made light work of Yeovil, if I'm completely honest. I mean, let's have a look at the analysis. We had 17 shots, 5 on target, 58% possession. You can see here in this area, we controlled the pitch in large areas. Just to break it down to you. This is where we made ourselves look pretty special. Um, not shot, sorry. Passes, let's get in here. Passes, combinations. Actually, doesn't look very nice, does it? But you can see that we were really controlling that middle of the park. I mean, in comparison to Yeovil, they were quite fluid. But they were defensive fluid, so they were compressed but us playing in front of the back line so we're sort of inviting them out trying to suck them in and then get in behind that was our sort of method um, to be honest with you I'm not too pleased with that but obviously it worked so I can't really complain there um, so yeah we we made light work of Yeovil I'm pretty happy with our start but what I want to do is just break down because if we look at the Peter Perot game Peterborough are odds on to beat us we're seven to two so let's just have a look at Peterborough and find out what so their key player is Marcus Madison and he looks pretty good in fairness and he's a cam player but he can play as a winger he's left footed I think he's gonna pop up on the left um, wherever he plays whatever side of the pitch he plays because he might be an inside forward if he becomes an inside forward I will play a D-mid and make sure that he's cancelled out there if he plays there I will play a D-mid to make sure he's cancelled out there so either way there or there he's being a, we're going to play a D-mid um, and if he's a winger I'm definitely playing my full back on defend to not allow him to have the space and if he's got a full back behind supporting him then I might put a wide midfielder on support and play a central midfielder there, not a winger. Okay, just to reassure that side. Um, let's have a look at their manager. They play a mixed but attacking style. There's going to be space in behind. I will attack from the front. I'm not going to try and play in behind their back line because that would be silly. Um, so let's have a look at their senior format or oh, this is how they play this is very familiar <laughs> um, so they're gonna look to control the middle of the park and obviously there's the Madison the menacer D mid we can explore so they're gonna use their fullbacks to get in behind as you can tell Taylor straight away he's got great positioning he's off the ball is five he's a center back and they're playing him advanced Crossing, no, heading. So he's a bit of an enforcer. Hmm, that's odd. 
centre back there. I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't have done that myself. Positioning, 11, teamwork, work rate, bravery, tackling, pace. He's got strength. Okay, so this guy is going to be a playmaker. We're going to play... I think we're going to try a fluid counter. His position is 15, tackling 16, bravery 4. He's a good player. He is good. I like him. Okay, we're going to have some problems. And then obviously the... The goal scoring threat of Jack Marriott. I mean, his stats are pretty good. He's off the ball. In fact, he's not like a weldy at that level. He doesn't stand out as an obvious amazement in, in front of goal. But for some reason, on this game, he scores goals for fun. He loves to score goals. So, my approach is going to be something along the lines of this. Fact. So I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping this area very locked down. <coughs> Excuse me. So positioning. Who else have we have we got? Barry. Um, virtue. This is the Liverpool loanee, by the way, guys. That Danny Merrington did nominate. Um, as I told you, my Tomahay got injured for. Eight, uh, six to eight months, I think it was, if I rem remember rightly. And he replaced him with this guy. Now, he looks pretty special, to be fair. He looks pretty good. His positioning is only 10, but my plan was... he's When I play in front of the back line with the advanced playmaker on one side, he's going to do that. His composure is 10. His vision is 10. But obviously, he's a potential... If we look at the report, always take note of this because this will tell you your good and bad eggs. Um, I will go into that in more, in more detail at a later date. So, could improve a lot in a very well suited to legal. Yeah, so he's fine. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Um, who are we going to put? We need to make sure that we've got players with great positioning. 12, 13, and 11. I think we're going to stick to that. And I think I'm going to make him a box to box. We need an outlet. Attack. Do we go attack? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to go support across the board. We're going to get everybody to support each other. And I will ask you to move into channels and act like a, like a poacher. So these guys are going to get involved but come back. Um, who are we going to play out there? Easiest way to line it up is just like this, guys. Uh, so, oh yeah, Gambin, just to report to you, is injured for two to four months. So that's not great. Jordan Cook could play over that side. Inside forwards. Mm. Inside forward and get you to be a deep line forward on support. So he's going to be providing risky passes as a result of that. But uh, move into channels. So what will happen is this guy will run into this area and then look for the through ball of Collins, who's on move into channels. So we're going to be cautious. We're going to be very, very cautious. I'm going to keep these guys on support and. As a result, I'm going to go standard. Sorry, no, I'm going to go counter, but flexible. I may move down to fluid, depending on how much space is available. Uh, Danny Hilton, are you not back yet? He was injured as well, but not for long. Um, what have we got? Virtue can go on the bench. Yeah, and then Elliot Lee, you can be my striker. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I can have Virtue on the bench. Sorry. Take that back. Come on, Wick. What can you do? Okay, so... I think this is the way to start. I'm a little bit... 
Obviously, they're a team that's in the division above. I'm a bit concerned. We're still going to look to get in behind from the front. I may even put these guys on defend. I'm not sure yet. Let's just go. Oh, by the way, I've signed a new fitness coach who is very good. Very, very good. What I do, guys, when I'm looking for staff members, because obviously here it's a no fitness coach, is in the... Um, description of all my videos I do link this the place to download these views but if I want to search for a particular area like what I have done for my fitness coach um, where is fitness so it's aerobic isn't it so I've come under aerobic and then it comes up with these automatically and then you just keep filtering down until one pops up take a look at him and there you go it gives you the best available that's interested in signing for you um, all you do is you go once you've downloaded it go into this manage filters import and then it's also got the player filters just to show you that quickly so you load up the staff one in there if I'm using the player one and this is how I find most of my players. Um, scouting, so if I'm looking for a player, then I'll go new search, and then I'll go, oh, manage, I haven't even done it on this one, so import, player filters, load, okay, and then just drop down to here. If, say for example, I am looking for an advanced forward, don't save that, and then keep going down until that is, in a nutshell, the easiest way to find players. But, generally speaking, this doesn't always fit my DNA. I will, when I'm looking for players, generally, I will say I want determination, work rate, teamwork. Um, if I'm looking for a, an attacking player, I'd make sure he's got off the ball. If I'm looking for a support player, I'd make sure he's got off the ball and positioning. And if I'm looking for a defensive player, I'd look for just positioning. Um, and then I'd add other things like for a defender, obviously acceleration, um, anticipation, bravery. We will go more and more in detail to that. But if you're looking for players and you want to find the best that you can for the team that you've got with the knowledge that you get given at the very beginning then use that some disagree with that some might agree with it it just makes the game a little bit easier for you because it is a very difficult game but let's get on with the game guys let's go what have we got we've got so we've got our fitness coach he's just turned up tactical briefing remember what I said to you in the last video in this dynamics if you want this to go up quickly just simply go into the team briefing handle the briefing talk to the team we're gonna play no when yeah we are gonna play that formation talk to the team we're gonna play counter um, counter shape flexible okay if there's any team instructions that you want to imply as we're playing counter I'm going to play slightly higher to keep them away from the the back line and what else shall we do I might roam from position just to make everybody available <clears throat> so tell them tell them this okay so that's done end that meeting and let's get into the game a little bit nervous about this one if I'm honest a little bit nervous it's been a couple of days as well as well I've been quite busy I've been working um, I wasn't feeling too well this morning um, we had football today and we had it was a defeat today um, at under 14's level but the way we played was absolutely fantastic right let's get this on show on the road 
So, so far, straight away, I can tell you that their full backs are very involved getting forward. So, really, we should be making sure we get through, get forward very, very quickly. So, Hughes is on the ball, he's looking for Morias. Morias, we've got us. McCormack and Dowden's coming straight back. Morias has got time. He's going home, inside active, looking for that winger. And Taylor, very wide. I think we need to spread our width. Jack Marriott, we definitely don't want him in those opportunities. I am going to spread a little bit wider. Just to avoid that. So they've got a winger on attack. Wing back on attack, sorry. On, on the right side. Uh, I'm not going to make changes yet because the possession is good. We're having a shot. There we go. It's us. We've got a corner. Plays it short. Looking for the lurkers. There you go. Cook takes a touch. Inside active maybe. Takes a shot. Okay. I would have played it inside there to Downs. He was in a better position in my opinion. But no. Nope. He wanted to have a go. He felt like he was Billy Big Spuds. And we're looking good. Downs. Is that offside? It's offside. Offside, Sunny Jim. Focus. Goal disallowed. But encouraging. I'm happy. I think we've got the whip right now. Cook. He's running at. Mm. The silver keeps that in. Wait, where are you going, mate? Close. Hello? Just, uh, yeah, don't worry, mate. You have the ball. I'll go and have a cup of tea. He's going to play out wide. See, these guys should be goal side. But if I drop the line, we're going to be too low getting forwards. So what I might do is just... Mm, no, I'm going to drop the line. I'm going to drop the line. Go for it, guys. See, by having everybody on support, it keeps everyone... Oh, look at that for a pass. Go on, Collins, finish. Oh, that was stunning. So, yeah, by having everyone on support, everyone's showing for the ball. Everyone wants the ball and roam from position as well. I'm making sure that everyone makes themselves available. That's the logic behind my methods here. We're away. We're having five shots so far. Win that, win that, win that. You was ahead of him. He had to go through you to get the ball. That's yours, my Tom and Hay. Go on. Use him. Go. He was blocked off there. Switch. Ah, And again. Try again. Try again. Pots long. My Tom and Hay. Cook. Collins, where's the options? I think I need to. Oh, Jack Marriott's in. What's going on? Glen Ray. I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay. I've just found a shortcut on my mouse. Jack Marriott, that was a heavy touch. It's okay though. Downs. De Silva Lopez always going wide from there so we're compact we're making it quite difficult for them to play around us but as I say opposition teams will adjust so we've got a ball winning midfielder on support box to box they're playing an advanced playmaker which to be honest with you they're trying to overload this area now because we are playing with a normal line I might take you off of cover I might be doing the wrong thing here in fact no I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it just because he is most comfortable doing that but these stats are not looking great oh no I'm not liking this at all let's push back up make the changes please make the changes please 
There's nothing more annoying when you make changes because you know something's wrong and then the highlight pops up when you're still waiting for the changes to apply. So six shots versus five. I'm happy with this. We're holding our own against a division higher, a, a team that's a, an a division above. Come on, get it out, Lee. It's not that difficult. So what I want to hear from you guys in the comments, if you don't mind taking that little bit of time, is who do you support? Do you go to the matches? And who is your favourite player for that team? And I might even have a look at the player on the te on Football Manager and see if there's somebody that I might want to add to a shortlist. Because I've got an actual... Um, what I do when I play the game is I add players that I really like to a spreadsheet which I keep because each save is different and obviously you could save your you could save your uh, shortlist but I don't I just use a, a spreadsheet it's much easier um, no pressure no pressure I don't care if you go out guys as long as you play good football which you are so cannot complain oh Brighton got Man United away in the FA Cup little bit excited probably won't make it through but I'm hoping I don't see it because Manchester United need to win a trophy but I'm hoping United rotate can't see it though downs take that touch simple keep it simple nice Williams ah Marriott's on your Marriott's on you wakey wakey sensible go home oh, you thudded that to keep it look like a shot Come on, guys. Right, James Collins is not playing too well. He wants to be a defensive forward. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. Move into channels, defensive forward. I'm going to spread the play. Because what I'm doing is with an inside forward, he's coming into this D-mid. So I wasn't being very tactically astute there. He's coming into this area. Just keep him wide, especially with him on attack. Should be exploiting that. Again, sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. I wonder if that will then crack the case. In fact, I might even put him on attack. Winger attack. This is nice though. I'm liking this. Look at that. Oh. Come on, guys. Come on, let's do something. Look. That's a lovely ball across field. I don't I feel like I'm not committing enough men forward to do the damage, but I'm also skeptical. Oh, come on. Oh, unlucky. I'm very skeptical about throwing. If I put one of these guys on attack, box to box midfielder is the safest option because he will still get forwards, but he would do it in the right scenario only when we control the areas. But I could force him. If I need a goal, I'm going to chuck him on attack. I, re I should really be doing it. I'm being a little bit too negative but everyone on support seems like a good idea against the team that is superior and expected to beat us right I'm not liking this now I might look to change slightly yeah this needs to change right what can we do here I'm going to go fluid just to condense the fit of the pitch a little bit. This may go against. Stacy's having a bad game. 6.3, 71. Um, let's sub him off. Elliot Lee, right-footed. 
Stacy. See you later, mate. Wasn't good enough. Goodbye. Uh, Shinny. Let's bring on some fresh legs. And he wants to be a playmaker, but I am actually going to commit a man forward now. Because if you look at this guy, off the ball, 13. His pace isn't great. That's his, That's why I pick Matomahe over him, because of his pace. But, because we're playing on a, uh, a counter mentality, we're going to build up anyway. So, get forward, mate. But well, I'm going to make sure... Yeah, we've got a ball winning midfield. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, let's gamble a little bit. Oh dear, look at that. Oh dear, guys. Scared, scared, scared. Shinny, McCormack, that's very... Oh, that would have been a peach. Two shots on target. That's the only concerning thing. I might... I know I, I chop and change a lot, guys. I really do. Um... I'm going to put him on attack too. Come on, let's push them back. I'm a bit concerned. A bit concerned, guys. Fluid was a bad idea. I'm going structured. Let's go. Yeah, flu when you play fluid, you should really be doing it against teams that... Oh, that's great! <gasps> Come on, guys! Stop doing this to me! Um, yeah, when you play fluid, you should really be doing that against teams that you are favourites against. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work at all, but structured, flexible or structured is probably more suited for teams that you are worse than. I would opt more towards structured just because you keep the team spread apart and your attacking outlets higher up the pitch oh downs that's terrible that's terrible I'm concerned no well right Williams is very quick he's got pace of 17 Marriott stuck in you can have a shot from there all day long mate I wouldn't mind a replay take it back home <clears throat> But who's to say we can't get a winner? Do you know what? I am going to gamble. I'm going to gamble. Don't move into the channels, mate. I should be making a sub, really. But who? I don't trust anybody. Jordan Cook. Let's do that. But he. Sorry. What? What footed are you, mate? You are right inside forward. I'm going to make you an advanced playmaker on attack. <coughs> but. Play. But, 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 but. No, that's fine. These two might get in each other's way. In fact, they will. I'm just going to ask him to sit wider. Otherwise, my central midfielder is going to occupy the same space, and it's pointless. They're just getting in each other's way. So if I keep him wide, then he might create. This could be a tactical genius move. Shinny. Riley. Inside active to down. Shinny. Come on, don't lose it there. Ah, oh, mate, you had that. There was an opportunity. We're in behind now. Morias. They've got no composure, have they? Mmm. Look at that possession. Guys. Away performance? What do you think? Oh, it's extra time. Extra time. Okay, right, so we've got to rally the boys. 
everyone's looking calm, composed. Let's talk to the team. I'm going to be really passionate and I'm going to say I'm very happy with the way things are going. Give them a boost. Assertive. There's no pressure. I don't care if you lose, guys. You've already won, in my opinion. With this performance, you've done fantastically well. In fact, it's just shown that if... Don't make a mix-up there. If we go up, which is our full intentions and our ex expectations... If we don't go up, I'm going to get fired. It's simple as that. Um, but when we go up, positive mental attitude there. When we go up, we will hold our own in League One. Because in my opinion... Luton really should be in League One. They're a League One team, 100%. Don't rush, don't... Well, no, relax, 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 relax. Should I be a little bit more cautious? I think I might be a little bit more cautious, guys. I am going to... Mm, he doesn't like it. Let's have a look. James Collins, he's... Strength heading. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you on target man attack. I'm gonna he's already higher. I'm not gonna change the mentality because that's right. When when you're having success against a team shot wise, don't go up in ment mentality because it will go the opposite way. I can assure you of that, especially against better teams. We're gonna pass more direct though. That's all we're gonna change. Keep that as it is. He's going to look to help. In fact, I am going to go with a box-to-box. -box. Looking after that middle of the park. Making sure he's coming back with the transitions as well. It's almost like we're trying to play in front of their back four. Which is not what I opted to do. But due to substitutions and opportunities, things happen. Come on, let's relax, guys. Simple. Barry. Barry, sorry. Riley. Parsons a little bit wayward. I think it's tired legs, if I'm honest. That's a very hopeful ball. Madison looks to pick that up. Marriott. He's going to take him on, as he does. Very nimble and quick, this player. He's looking for... Carno. No! Right. All guns blazing now. Screw it. We've got nothing to lose. Inside forward attack. You on support. You're going on attack. You're going attack. Uh, you can go wing back. Support. Wing back. Attack. No, sorry, support. There's no point in having two on attack. You should have one and the other. Um, you're going to go as a half back, allowing these two to have a license to go forwards. McCormack, I'm going to make you a box to box midfielder. Get stuck in. Get in there. We are now going to go attacking because we've got nothing to lose. Um, balanced. Normal line. If you go too high with attacking mentality, in fact, we should be because we've got a target man. Ignore that. So we're going to go fluid. Yeah, in fact, that would be going totally against it. With attacking, you get more direct passing. So that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to make them close down more. Um, prevent short opposition goalkeeping. Distribution and that's it. Stick or twist. We're twisting. It's going for broke. So Marriott there. He must have felt really bad doing that against his old team to be fair. He was loved by Luton fans and I think he loved the fans too. So yeah, simple goal. Let's go. What can we do? Corner. Downs picks it up to Berry. Deflection, another corner. Come on, guys, we can get back in this. 
50-50 game, very 50-50. Downs into Berry. Williams. The passing is a little bit too slow. Let's just turn that tempo up a little bit and make a little bit more urgency. That's half time. Let's go. We may make mistakes as a result of playing with a faster tempo, but I'm willing to take the risk. Well, there's no risk, is there, because we're losing already. Quite f oh, ho, 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 ho. Prefer that to get across the box, but if he scores like that, then I can't complain. Come on, guys. Look at that. Possession. 24%. Come on. Come on, look at that. And they've still got their wing back on attack. Why would you be doing that? Come on guys, let's snatch that back. Snatch it back, no. Could be 2 nil. Could be. Williams clears. Ducty. Right, right now, let's go. Go, 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 go. Pick that up, Berry. Simple. Keep it simple. Nice. Hold that up. No. Head that. Marriott's tiny, so you should win that. Shinny heads that on. Berry's going to pick that up. Looking. Look, look, look. In behind. That's it. Lee. Oh, straight to the keeper. Either side, that was a goal. Very, very, very happy with this performance, though, guys. Lee. To Downs. Takes a touch, looks like, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Get it in the box. There are people in better scoring opportunities than what you have there. Ray. A little bit more urgency, please. Lee. Inside. So still a very, I'm playing attacking, and I've turned the tempo right up. And they're playing. Finish. Oh my god, he's just hit the woodwork. Would you Adam and Eve it? 17 shots versus 12. And we haven't scored. Oh my days. Now you're probably thinking, why haven't you got your striker on attack? Because there's a logic behind it. If I have these wingers on attack, you need someone supporting to make the triangle. If they're all on attack, they're all going to be in a line together. And also, the central midfielder is coming forward. It's game over, guys. Good effort, though. I cannot complain about this match. I'm very, very happy with the performance. We can focus on the league now. We don't have to worry about a cup run or having to rotate players, etc. We just focus on the league. That's a lovely ball. Come on. Finish. Oh, my God. Yes. We take that. We deserve it. We deserve that. Oh my days. I'm not even going to change. I'm not even going to change because the whistle's going to blow. But let's look at that in 3D. Lee. Great cross. Berry. Oh, sublime. You got no fans. You got no fans, Peterborough. Right. Penalties. Boom. 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 After that, I don't really care. Go. Suspense. Well. Win or lose. Care not. If we win, though. It would be very nice. Come on, Collins. Wise head. No. I might turn the speed up, guys. I hate all this, by the way. One, one, one. Two, sorry. And then they take two, then we take two. It's ridiculous. What? Who come up with that? No, you're going to take two shots, right? And then we'll take one. 
and then you can take two, and then we'll take two. It's a ri ridiculous, ridiculous rule. It's just one for one. It looks like we're going out, though. McCormack, we need you. Come on, boy. Yes. Right, so it's 3-3. Three, three. Come on, miss, Forrester. Oh, he looks wobbly. Ah. Come on. Stokes is stepping up. If he scores, game over. Ah, I thought he was going to save it. Well, guys, what can I say? What can I say? That was a fantastic game to watch. The tactical changes, that's all I do. I, there's no set way of playing. I literally just change on the fly based on the situation. I assess the opposition team and then I make tactical decisions and logical like player initiatives. Uh, I use the initiatives of the player roles and make decisions like that. There's no point in downloading a tactic really is no point in downloading the tactic. What I want to do, and if I can help anybody do this, is to be able to go into Tactical Creator and have the confidence to go, right, I'm going to try this against this, this against this, and just keep an eye on it. Play uncomprehensive, make your decisions, and then watch for the mistakes. See where your gaps are forming from. When you can see the goal, rewind back to where the ball was lost. Then take a look at where your team was when you were on the ball, did they have options, for example, um, and once you've lost it, where are your players set, is there anybody to close the down, like, because at the end of the day, it's not all about making the tackle, sometimes it's about slowing the play down, allowing your supporting players to come back and help, um, so yeah, so sometimes it's not all about closing down, sometimes it's about making yourselves hard to beat, both um, attackingly and defensively, if that makes sense. Uh, God, I'm really, really... That took a lot of energy out of me, that game, to be quite honest. I'm happy with that. We're still undefeated. That's undefeated. Penalty, I'm not considering a defeat. Um, this has been another vo uh, video from Cranky is Fozzy. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'd like to know when you want me to come back. I'm I'm going to play quite a few games because I want to get this season underway. On both seasons, I'm not far enough into it as what I would want to be because I felt like I want to talk to you a little bit more. Um, but I'm thinking maybe the Mansfield game is very big, but I think that's too soon. Checker trade, I care a lot about. I'm going to play my rotated, fully rotated team to make sure that they're getting match games. Um, I'll tell you what, in fact, I do need to inform you. Danny Merrington is doing a save in the same division in the Skybet League 2, and he is Swindon. And he took them up into League 1 on the first time of asking. He's used a couple of the signings that we made. Um, he's made a few signings himself, and he has recommended a couple, especially the Liverpool Loney. Um, so I'm going to come back for that game because I want. Danny, who's been loyal, leaving messages and liking the content and getting involved. I'm going to come back and play Swindon. But kudos to you, Danny, for getting promoted. That's fantastic news. Um, I know he's not he's not copying any of the tactics or anything. He's doing it his own way. He's making his own tactics, making his own decisions. Um, but he's used a couple of the, the signings. But that's it. It's all his own work. So well done to you, mate. But thank you very much. You take care and goodbye.